it's two o'clock on a t uh, it's two o'clock. <laughs> uh, it's seven o'clock, seven p.m. on a Tuesday, and we're on our way to Augusta, which is like an hour drive from our house to go pick up a new farm member. He's coming all the way from Pennsylvania. He got picked up in Pennsylvania yesterday. Um, we're super excited. I'm super excited. This has kind of been in the works for uh, over a month now, I think. But yeah, we're almost there. We've got one more minute till we show up. We're meeting in a Wendy's. another buck <laughs> just what we need <laughs> that makes three bucks on the farm now this is a never fail acre buck um, out of mocha frappe she's oh man she's got these really nice long milking teats I've had my eyes on her for over a year now and somehow we swung this so we had somebody in Maine going down to Pennsylvania to meet up with another transporter at the same, around the same time that this guy needed to be picked up. And uh, he is, I think he's about four weeks old, so he's still on a bottle. And his name is Expressa, right? We try to go with the coffee theme because of his dam. So we're gonna drive back home, get this little dude in the house, get him used to, or the pasture, get him used to everybody. And yeah, I can't wait. I don't know if we'll use him for breeding this year. He's still kind of small, but next year, he'll be breeding a bunch of girls for us. Yeah, yeah we're gonna give him a shot. The little buck's doing great. He is so tiny compared to everybody else because he's like only four weeks old, so he's just a little tiny baby still. I was so excited to be done with bottle babies and now I have a bottle baby again that I'm feeding five times a day. He did not come with any of his CDT shots. His dam was not given her CDT shot either. So I'm going to give him his first CDT shot and then I'm also going to give him some probiotics because he definitely... He's definitely stressed from the... <sighs> He's definitely stressed from traveling. And he was a little bit constipated when I came down earlier. I did end up helping him poop. Hi, buddy. Yeah. But yeah, that's what we're doing. He's, I'm not giving him coccidia preventative because he was on medicated feed. And I can't remember where I read it, but I read that you don't want to do preventative and medicated feed at the same time. I'm not sure how accurate that is, so look it up before you take my advice for it. But I'm just going to go off of that. If I see any signs, if I see any signs that he does have coccidia, then I'll treat him for coccidia. Still with Baycox, but I'm going to skip the... The... Uh, preventative at the moment. Yeah, Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon's doing great. He is Ex Espresso's buddy. So they'll be living together. I don't know if we'll integrate all the boys at some point or if we'll just keep groups of two so they're a little bit easier to handle. We do have the setup to just do the two and two. We have lots more fencing. Alrighty. I don't know if he's gonna have more.
gonna be a pretty boy. Huh? Mm -hmm. Egg. He was looking a little wiry. Uh, yeah. I think everybody's kind of due for a a coffer. And I don't think we've done any of the babies yet. So all the babies are due for copper bolus. And then you want to make sure that you really rub that area. We'll remember that we did it in the front right leg. So if he gets a lump, you know what it's from. And then I like to toast. So this is newborns, one to two milliliters. I find it easier if I put stuff like this. Also, I do this with the um, selenium paste. I put it in a syringe so it's easier to get in their mouth. Mr. Moon, please stop. Oh, sorry. Was that scary? Didn't get it all in. I feel bad. Please stop messing with that. I don't have anything for you, dude. Oh, come here, buddy. I just want to get a little bit more. I know. I know. Oh. Dear, dear, that's not so bad. Poor little dude has had such a busy, busy couple of days. He got picked up the day before yesterday in Pennsylvania. So he was on the road for about 24 hours, um, maybe even a little bit longer. But things are all calmed down now. I hope you don't act like your dad. We also put the little girls in with the big girls. And they've been doing really good. I want you. I want you. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, that's cinnamon. Oh, I'm so sorry that they're so mean. They'll be nice, I promise. And the, all the babies, started to jump up on this building. So this building is junk now. It's just covered in holes. So we have to either replastic it or figure out something else that we're gonna put our, these little boys in. So obviously if it rains, they're gonna get soaked. You coming out? It's Sunday. We've spent the whole entire weekend haying, which our Next video will be all about haying and have a bunch of cool footage of the hay fields that we've done. Currently we have 280 bales and we've only done half of the field that we're haying. We still have two other small hay fields. This I think is a 15 acre field. We've got two other small five acre fields to do. I wanted to do an update on Espresso. He's doing great. We've had him for, when did we get him? Wednesday? I don't know. Anyways, we've had him for a few days. <laughs> He's doing great. I think that I had clips of me giving him his first CDT and then I also gave him probiotics because he was a little bit constipated when he first came here, which to be expected because traveling is really rough on animals. And then I noticed, I think it was yesterday, that he had runny poop. I'm going to do a little bit extra in here. So runny poop could be a number of things. I do have a video on scours and goats that I'll link below and what I do to fix them. When it comes to little baby goats is a tiny bit different than what we do with our big girls, especially because the risk of, or the the likelihood of it being coccidia is a lot higher in baby goats and it's a lot more serious when baby goats have scours because they're tiny and their immune system is weak and you can just lose a baby goat really quickly. 
So instantly I gave him Baycox as a treatment for coccidia instead of as a um, preventative because he was not on preventative. He was eating coccidia treated grain, which we stopped when he got here because we don't we don't feed medicated grain to our goats. And so yeah, so we, we gave him Baycox and the next day he was completely cleared up and he's been running around and acting fine and no more runny poop. So I've got um, some heat treated milk here because I don't know, I just, I feel better heat treating it because he didn't come from our girls. I do test our girls yearly for disease like CE and Yonis and all that, but I don't know if sometimes I feel like it's just best to heat treat the milk just in case something's hiding in there and you don't find it, then at least I'm not passing it on through milk. So heat treated milk for him. I'm giving him 12 ounces, I believe. Espresso here. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Here you go. Here you go, little dude. Big old milk belly. I missed her. <laughs>